Hey, salam and hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you the comparison of 3D modeling by using AutoCAD and Inventor. Okay, so let's restart to by using AutoCAD for 3D model modeling. Okay, so we open the new file. Okay, so here by simply by using rectangle, enter, click here, then we put the dimension for rectangle 100 comma 50 press enter ok then zoom out a little bit ok next we draw a line start from this midpoint then move to the left then we put the distance 25 press enter press enter once again ok next by using the up command press enter we click to the first point here second point and third point then by using the mirror command, press enter, click to this arc, press enter, then we specify the mirror line like this, then press enter, simply we can erase this line, then by using the trim command, press enter twice, then trim this part and this part, ok, next by, by using the join command, press enter, ok, highlight all of the object, press enter, ok. So next, by using the polyline, we create a polyline. Okay, start from this point, then move upward with distance of 50. Then to the right, with distance of 50. Down here, with distance of 50. To the left, 10. Upward, 40. To the left, 30. Downward. 40 then type C to close this polyline next by using the move command press enter select object press enter then click to this midpoint then move here to this midpoint ok so next by using the circle command press enter we create a circle at this center then we put the diameter ok press D press enter then we put the diameter 25 ok next by using the mirror command press enter Click to the circle, press enter, then specify the mirror line like this. Then press enter. Okay. So next, we change the view to uh, SE isometric view. Okay. By using the extrude command, press enter. We click to this geometry. Okay, this circle and this circle. Press enter, then extrude upward with distance of 10. Okay, next we are going to subtract this part. So subtract. Press enter, click this part, press enter and click this cylinder, okay, press enter, alright, so next, by using the extrude command, press enter, we extrude this part, press enter then extrude outward, we put the height 60, press enter, lastly, by using the chamfer edge command, press enter, we need to specify the distance, so click to the distance, Distance 1, we put 25 and same goes to distance 2, also 25. Then simply click to these edges, these two edges, then press enter, press enter once again. Then you can see the shaded with edges, visual styles. Okay. So done with our AutoCAD 3D modeling. Next, we go to Autodesk Inventor. Okay. So let's open the new file. Okay, new, metric, standard millimeter dot IPT, then click to the create button. Okay, here we can start the 2D sketch, then we choose this plane. Okay, firstly we draw a rectangle, 2 point, okay, here, click here, then we put the dimension, 50, then press the tab key, 100, then press enter. Next, we choose arc. 3 point ok start from this center first point uh, this point second point then we need to specify the radius for the arc we put 25 press enter then simply we can create arc here so first point second point so we just click here right click ok so we use the equal in order to ok you can see 
in order to make these two radius equivalent okay right click okay next we draw a line okay so here we draw a line so click here outward we put 50 to the right we put 50 downward we put 50 then to the left 10 outward 40 then to the left 30 then downward 40 press enter then right click then click to the close so you can see the line is closed then right click ok now by using this coincident constraint we simply click to this midpoint and this midpoint oh sorry ok once again this midpoint and this midpoint ok alright so right click ok next we just click finish sketch so we are going to extrude this part so by using the extrude icon we choose the profile so this profile this profile and this profile then we put the distance 10 ok correct click ok next you go here right click to the sketch one then click to the share sketch ok so now we can extrude this part ok this part we put the distance 60 then press enter ok now we want to create the chamfer so click to the chamfer we put the chamfer distance 25 then simply click to these edges ok then click ok so we can create a hole here so choose hole placement choose concentric then here we put the diameter 25 then simply click to this plane then click to this edge in order to center this hole then press ok then repeat the same step so here concentric then we choose this plane then click to this edge in order to center this hole then click ok ok so done with our 3d model okay so thanks for watching my video all the best thank you